going to get to your questions for chicks on dudes in just moments. Don't forget, hop on that stream. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. You can watch the show each and every morning. Like, follow, and subscribe while you're there. Currently joined in studio by Mac from Bob1069. Mac, what is going on? I'm getting attacked. With my, what's wrong with my water bottle? So, so Max on camera right now, and she's gripping her water bottle like we were we're about to attack her right now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> why are you so paranoid? It's a given on any day. Marshall. Okay, all right. I just you looked like you were terrified to hang out with us right now. We're your best friends, man. Come on, uh -huh. Max. <laughs> that was a horrible, <laughs> horrible laugh. All right, Max in studio for Chicks on Dudes. Uh, this is your opportunity mm -hmm. to ask a question. Maybe you don't want to ask somebody face to face. So you can email the question at any time, KM Show at rock1061.com, and Mac will answer said question. Mac, are, are you ready for question one? Yes, and good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah. Morning, Mac. Yeah, Mary. Uh, hi, Chicks. So I'm a guy. And Sounds I've, questionable already. Right? <laughs> I've seen a tendency that's been bothering me recently. I've seen guys compliment women's beauty like, oh, you're gorgeous, or Mary is my beautiful wife. And I have no problem with compliments, but it kind of seems like it's the only type of compliments women receive. Like, why aren't people complimenting a woman's intelligence or personality? Am I overthinking? What do you guys think? think not overthinking whatsoever i like this guy <laughs> yeah why does it have to be just looks that are beautiful hey how about this let's comp let's compliment mac right don't do That's it not... you're setting me i'm no no mac your tenacity to eat an entire bag of korean barbecue potato chips street taco is incredible chips. Thank is you. incredible and what honestly when i saw yesterday i was stunned but that's a talent that I don't have. And I want to say that you're incredible at eating What's an entire bag of chips. That's not yours. <laughs> and you did not lay out the rules. Okay. Uh, Cotter, you want to compliment Mac? Uh, no. No, okay. I don't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I take no compliment over that one. Okay? Uh, what, uh, back, to, back to his question, though. I mean, I think I mean, he brings up a good point. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a female, I mean... Uh, is somebody have you been complimented by a guy on something other than beauty? Has somebody said, "Hey, you are incredibly smart," or "Hey, you know, I like this about you." I mean, is there has that happened before? No. Okay. Really? It's just all based on your looks. Yeah. Everyone's just like, "Oh, you're gorgeous, Mac. You're beautiful." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so would you would you like it to? Would you? I mean, would you like there to be a different kind of compliment? Yeah, I would. Okay. So what? Uh, what type of compliment other than beauty do you think would be appropriate? I mean, what, what kind of compliment would you like to receive? Uh, independence is good. Yeah. Hey, your independence is good. Um, hey, bro, your freedom looks dope over there. Um, taste in um, movies and TV shows. Just mm -hmm. like interests of okay. mine that okay. don't necessarily have to be the same as his. I mm -hmm. don't know. I just feel like women are just put up on this pedestal to look a certain way. Okay. I and agree with that. I don't like that whole, that being the whole, the only compliment that they get. Cause there's more to a woman than just her looks. I'm just saying. I yeah. agree with that. And, and like Cotter and I like all the time, it's like, you guys are so talented uh, radio hosts. Like you guys are amazing. Like that gets boring for us. Like, like, look, we won an award. Connect Savannah. Stop giving us awards. We get it. Actually don't continue giving <laughs> us awards. But like, that's something that we have an issue with as well. So I get what this guy is saying. Like, we're too talented, right? But no one ever notices our beauty. No, no, we, I've we don't have never a lot of it. Complimented on my like, beauty. Like the inner beauty of our souls is incredible. Like we're tens, bro. Right? Wouldn't you say we're tens? I would definitely agree with this statement. Yeah, yes. but this guy right here, I mean, a little too much. A little too much. I think he's overthinking it. I know. I, I don't. I, I don't think he is. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've got a daughter uh, who is. Uh, I mean, she's incredibly beautiful, but she is one of the smartest people that I know. Yeah. Legitly, I'm not just saying that. And is she. Uh, I mean, has written a book and a half. I mean, she is she is an amazing person, and I would like for you know a guy, girl, whatever she's into, to see more than just beauty to notice that when, when it comes to yeah. her. So I mean, I don't think so at all. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, I I do agree with you when it comes to you know there's this you know woman being put on a pedestal and how beauty is something mm -hmm. that has been built up and you know mm -hmm. perceived importance. And a lot of it though, I think guys are just lazy. Yeah. Guys, guys don't want to work. It's like, all right, I can look at a woman. I can see she's beautiful. It's easy for me to say, you're you're so so beautiful. Mac, 
Huh? Compliment number two from Marshall. <laughs> hey, Mac, your water consumption is above average. How about that? It is. Thank you very much for noticing. There we go, guys. Take that one. Write it down. Tell a girl that you see today. 80 uh, ounces a day. <laughs> All right. We got two more questions to get to. So, Mac, just stick around. Mm -hmm. um, you're not getting chips, but please stick around anyway. Mm -hmm. And those spicy right, dill no, pits. No, 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 stop, stop looking at our chips. Don't man. look at our chips. Yeah, we're more than just chips. Yeah, Right. We're great radio hosts. <laughs> right, Mac? <laughs> don't, just kidding. Don't use us just for <laughs> chips. Uh, more of Chicks on Dudes with Mac coming up here at 0936. This is a dream. Adrenaline, Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061. Good morning. It is the Cotter and Marshall Show. Thank you for hanging out. Of course, joined in studio by Mac from Bob 1069. Once again, good morning, Mac. Good morning. Uh, we're here for Chicks on Dudes. This is your chance to ask Mac a question. Uh, maybe it's something you don't want to ask somebody face to face. Maybe it's a, a personal question, mm -hmm. relationship related. This is your opportunity to get an answer. All you got to do is email the show. Email your question to KM Show. At rock1061.com. Uh, so going back to our last question on the chat, uh, Charles said uh, he wanted to, to throw a compliment to Mac. He says, hey, Mac, your hair looks fantastic today. Thank you. It's so washed. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're so proud you took a bath today. Yeah, uh, awkward. I take a bath daily. Daily? Yeah. Okay. My sure. hair just doesn't. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so let's move on. Question number two of Chicks on Dudes. Good morning, Mac, Cotter, and Marshall. When getting into a guy's vehicle, what is your favorite scent or air freshener? I typically Ooh. use black ice. Is there a smell that impresses you, Mac? I love black ice. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. Dude, you got a shot. You bring, you I bring love some black Korean ice. barbecue uh, taco chips. I think you're in. What's I up? Like is there any other uh, smell that you prefer when entering a, uh, a man's vehicle? Or even any vehicle, really, in general. But specifically, a fella you may be going on a date with, which I know is hard to believe. Speaking of skull, I don't like the smell of skull. So if you have a dip cup in there, <laughs> get rid of that. Okay. Okay. So uh, so no chewing tobacco. Nah, not really. Is there any, anything Fresh else? Uh, I like black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? I like black eyes. <laughs> so is there any smell? I mean, you talk about not liking the smell of chewing tobacco. Is there any other smell you don't like when you get into a car? Yeah, that's a list. <laughs> that's a list. Um, Let's just, just throw a couple at us. Just straight up stank? I don't know. It's a variety of stanks. So you're... you're your gym bag shouldn't be in no, the vehicle. No. Not even really in the trunk. Mm, mm, mm. Those smells permeate. Yeah, permeate. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, the permeate you do like. Mm -hmm. and we'll go over that later. Um, but once again, your favorite smell. Black be, ice. Exactly. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to our <laughs> final question of Chicks on Dudes today. <laughs> um, question number three. Uh, hi, Chicks. How long does attraction to someone usually last for you, does it fade away quickly or with a certain person? Does it last a lot longer? Uh, Max, specifically for you, how long does attraction, do you feel, last for when you're in a relationship? I think it just depends on the person. Um, uh, so I've been in situations where people tend to be uh, one person when I meet them. And it lasts for maybe one was like three months. One mm -hmm. was a couple of weeks. What's um, do you, do you, they it's just like they fade show, away? No, they just show their true colors, and mm. then that's when I don't know. Like I said, it just depends on the situation. What's honestly. the What's the biggest turnoff for you when it comes to uh, hanging out with a guy for a while? What's the one thing that you're like, "Wow, I am no longer attracted to you." Um, his insecurities, which I have mine too, but his insecurities. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Douchebaggeriness. Um, <laughs> that's a word. Just being rude. Uh huh. Um. Being a complete baby about things. Um, bad temper. Bad temper. Uh, has to be right about everything. Even if he's wrong, he has to be right. What about a bad tipper, though? Like at a restaurant? Yeah, that too. Yep. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a personality can affect a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. I think if you like a person, your attraction to them is more than physical. And it yeah. becomes something about, you know, the personality. So if they do, uh, you know, not change or show, them the, show their true self after maybe the initial reaction of you know liking somebody or being attracted to somebody i think it's easy to be like yep not not anymore i'm out yeah yeah i started hanging Absolutely. out with a, a girl once when i was living in las vegas and uh, it took like three dates they hit it really well but i found out they were a smoker immediately dead yeah yeah it was dead to me i get that i, I mean, mean that, that makes sense yeah if you're dealing any well i'm not saying smoking's dealing drugs if you're dealing drugs it's a no 
Um, yeah. Well, I mean, well, it, it was just it was on, just cigarettes. Uh, I would say it depends on the drugs and what kind of discount. It wasn't even a good brand of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Was it Paul Malls? <laughs> <laughs> it was Virginia Slims. Uh, Virginia Slimes. <laughs> yeah. As uh, yeah, smokers are uh, are an absolute uh, dead situation to yeah. me. I I can't be around that. All right, if you have a question for Mac for Chicks on Dudes, all you got to do is hit us up via the email cam show at rock1061.com. Mac, thank you very much. Welcome. For stopping by and not eating our chips. We appreciate there it. There were no too. chips on the table. Uh, Marshall's Music News, and we'll wrap up the show. It's coming up next. Cotter and Marshall, Rock 1061. Hey, guys, it's Cotter and Marshall from Rock 1061. Thank you so much for watching yeah. our stupidity on Oof. daily. We appreciate it. So make sure that you like and comment and subscribe. It's down there somewhere. We're not exactly for sure. Uh, we do appreciate it. And of course, more content always coming soon.